Yo, what is up guys? Stellboy here. Hope you guys are doing well. So, I'm sure you guys have heard the recent rumour that's been going around. And that rumour indicates that Lee Selby and Adrian Broner are in talks for a clash in the fall. Now, Mike Coppinger, a journalist slash PBC insider, has confirmed these rumours. When I first heard these rumours, I really didn't take them seriously because it's not really a fight that makes sense in all honesty but it appears these rumours have some type of credibility and I've got to say for me this is ultimately a cash out for Lee Selby. Lee Selby was a former featherweight champion whereas Adrian Broner has fought as high as welterweight and these days Adrian Broner even struggles to make 140. I know both of these guys are around the same height, but in the ring there will be a massive size disparity. Adrian Broner is going to be so much more heavy than Lee Selby, and for me, this really isn't a competitive matchup. I see no way in how Lee Selby wins this fight. Could he spoil for two or three rounds and make Broner kind of look bad? Potentially, but the bigger, heavier, harder hitting Broner will eventually find his range, find the target, and knock Lee Selby out. This, for me, like I said earlier, is purely a cash out for Lee Selby, and I think it's an unsatisfactory end to his career. When he was at Featherweight, he won that title against Evgeny Gradovich in. May 2015 I want to say and that was a really good performance after that you would have really hoped he would have pushed on and had a really good title reign but as soon as he won that title his reign was stop start he never really fought great competition apart from Montiel and yeah he lost his title last year to Josh Warrington I think Lee Selby has gone down as a bit of a disappointment because when he won that title, a few people out there expected big things, but it never really panned out. When he lost that IBF featherweight title to Josh Warrington, he then moved up two weight classes to lightweight, and he fought a guy by the name of Omar Douglas. To me, that fight was very close, and Lee Selby struggled mightily with the aggression and strength of Douglas. He just about got through that fight, and him fighting Broner would mean him moving up one more weight class at least. I mean, Adrian Broner is not making lightweight anymore. So if this fight does happen, at minimum, you would imagine it would take place at super lightweight. So listen, man, Lee Selby has no chance in this fight. It's purely a cash out and I expect him to get knocked out. As for Adrian Broner, you know, I mean, he needs to be winning this fight in good fashion. If he's struggling with the likes of a blown up past his best Lee Selby, then, you know, he really has sunk to a new low. I'm not really feeling this fight, if I'm being honest, mainly because it reeks of being a cash out fight and it's not even subtle. So yeah, I'm struggling to feel this fight. I don't really feel it will be competitive. And yeah, to me, it just has no intrigue about it. I just don't see how Lee Selby will cope at 140. He looked pretty bad at 135, as I mentioned earlier. So at 140 against an even bigger, stronger, heavier hitting guy, I don't think this will end well. I mean, who predicted this for Lee Selby's career years ago when he won that world title? A lot of people out there, including myself, thought he would go on to have a solid title reign. And listen, man, he's had a good career, of course, in comparison to 99% of fighters out there. But I think a lot of people would have expected a little bit more. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, Adrian Broner versus Lee Selby looks a real possibility. Share your thoughts below. Peace.